Welcome to our class log. I'm just going to do a quick little tour of how we will use online tools. Uh, this here is kind of our hub. It is a public website, so anyone who goes to this web address called earthscience.edublogs.org will see this page, but only myself and students will have access to log into the page to create posts um, for the blog. But on this page, you'll see updates as they come and throughout the year. Maybe we'll share some student work, maybe videos, images of labs, that type of thing um, right here on the blog. There's also some information here on this page that where we'll put course outlines and whatnot. And here's a page on digital safety with the rules that our class will use as a guidelines to ensure that we're using digital tools and online tools safe, safely and appropriately. A couple general rules that we'll use is that we will not be posting personal information. Um, right now everything is set up so that there are no student names involved. If students want to post images um, that include images of themselves or use their names, they'll have to bring in parent permission and those forms will go home uh, with students at the beginning of the year. So you'll see here is a list of some of our class sites. So we have a class wiki, which we'll go to. So this class wiki here is it's going to end up being kind of our digital resource or like our digital textbook. And it's going to be co-created by myself and students. So we're all going to work together to build pages. So if you look at our lab safety page, you'll see that there is um, some videos uh, on lab safety. And there's also a link to a place where our students are going to be making, um, working together to create some notes about lab safety. Um, and there's some other pages here that have already been populated. But as we go, we'll create pages for the different topics we touch on um, in our science course. Close that. And the next link here is our D2L, or Desire to Learn, and it's online classroom. This is a very locked down Oh, sorry, let me just go back to the class wiki here. The class wiki is another is open, so anyone can see it, but only our students and myself can, can edit it and add resources. The Desire to Learn or Online Classroom is a, an entirely secure, so nobody else can see that um, and access that. If you click on the link, you go to a login here. And this is a ministry run, a ministry of education in Ontario, um, wide, and it's the e-learning system. And so we're using it to host our course documents, assignments, activities. Everything will be in there for students to access. So if we do something in class, chances are there will be materials in here. And we'll give each student a username and a password to be able to enter this zone. If you're a parent and you want access, then contact me. If you want to see what it's like on the inside, then I can either give you a tour or I can provide you with a, a guest login to take a look inside. Our next link here, we'll skip Edmodo for now. We're not really sure if we'll use that or not. Edmodo is in another lockdown environment where no one else can see, but we can collaborate and have conversations and discussions. We have our Facebook page set up. And we'll go to our Facebook page. So our Facebook page is public, but there's no um, room for discussion. I can update statuses and information on the web page, but mo other people can't. We're going to use this simply for pushing information. The reason we're going to use Facebook is because most students and many parents actually use Facebook on a daily basis. So we'll push, so right here we've pushed a link um, to a page on climate change, which is a topic in our course. And we'll push links, we'll do maybe reminders for homework, uh, links about topics that we're discussing, uh, links to assignments, links to different things that we're doing in class. Basically anything that goes on to our blog will be pushed to here so that it, it shows up in parents and students' feed, a place where they're going to already. Students and parents by no means have to use Facebook. This is just something where we will push information if people want to get it. There's not going to be any discussions, no interaction, no work being done on Facebook. It is only simply to get information about what's happening in our classroom. So anybody can choose to like this page, which means that they're following it in their own Facebook if they want or not. This is not at all um, required for the course. It's just one way for parents to kind of keep updated and for students to keep updated if they are Facebook users. 
Um, we have our iMail, which is our um, school board email program. We have a link to our school website and our board website. And then we have these Scoop It pages, which sound pretty funny. Um, I'll go to the climate change topic one. And you'll see here, it's simply a page where I've posted different articles and web pages about the topic. So we have one for each of our big idea um, or units, I guess you could call it, in our science course. And I've just posted information and articles and resources here. So again, it's just another way for me to communicate with students and parents if they're interested. And then our last part here is TIGED or taking it global. And we will uh, we'll get to that within the semester. Basically, it's another lockdown environment, so it's not open access. Uh, only our students and myself can access it. But it's taking it global is an organization. It's actually a Toronto-based organization, but it's an international organization that connects youth all over the world to work on social change, or in our case, it'll be an environmental change project. So we'll be looking at deforestation in Borneo, and it's through this organization that we will um, we will interact with with youth all over the world on this topic. So basically, with all of these sites, it seems like a lot, and it looks like a lot, but we're going to stick to our very basic digital safety rules. We're not posting personal information ever. The only information that we may post, and this is only if we bring in parent per information, uh, sorry, parent permission, is our first, our names, or our pictures. And those are only based, or we're only posting those if we have parent permission. So it is absolutely not necessary. And we will post our own work. We will be, um, as students, will write reflections and blog while we're online about different science topics that we're studying. But we, in no we do not have to identify ourselves. That will be only based on a decision made at home, whether or not the student is comfortable and wants to do that. So on our blog page here, you'll also see a Twitter feed and the exact same thing as with Facebook. We don't need to be using Twitter. It's just another way. If there are parents and students out there that use Twitter, they may want to follow the hashtag. Uh, and if this doesn't make sense to you, the word hashtag or whatever, then and Twitter, then don't worry about it. It's just for people that use Twitter already. It's this grade 10 science uh, hashtag. And exactly like Facebook, and the same information will be posted to Facebook and Twitter, it'll just be information only to receive information about what we're doing in our classroom, just to kind of keep up to date on that. So again, not necessary, but if you use Twitter and you want to follow along, that would be great. Um, here's some links to just different websites and tools that we can use in our class. And then down here are the student blogs. So you'll see right now the student blogs are set up with absolutely no names. So if I am going to pretend to be student one, and students will, will be assigned a number and given login and, and uh, password information. So this is the blog that's been pre-set up for student one. So again, no name on it at all. And even when logging in, there's absolutely no um, No personal information, no names being used unless students change that information in which they'll need parent permission to do that. 